hello friends in this video i am showing how to work dynamo in rivet so here is a one sample model so i am opening this one just open this one first this is this tutorial is related to how to change this room number um, within using dynamo so these are the room numbers are here okay so we need two three levels over here so that level is having some room numbers okay so related to the levels we need to change the room number how it's work i will show you using dynamo this is a simple project so even in a large project you you can need to change the room number easily so using dynamo script how it's work i will show you go to manage then you need to open dynamo okay this is a simple vi video for uh, how to use how to run the scripts in dynamo okay so just open new okay, so you will be get uh, one window like this then what we need to do we need to create some nodes over here okay so in that nodes uh, it will create the uh, room numbers uh, changing how it's work i will show you go to rivet first then go to elements then you will be get a category then you need to pick the category from uh, this dynamo nodes okay so we'll just uh, type like uh, by name okay so that category name will come up over here so what we need to do here we need to uh, give the uh, names names and everything okay so category by name just to remove it okay so we need to give just uh, give the uh, id so like that you can get it a uh, lot of things okay w whatever things you need you can just uh, take it from here so category names uh, what are the things you need so you will be get it from here so otherwise you can type also here categories just type uh, uh, if, even if you need uh, something like the like the notes okay so you can uh, type also here um, like for example categories okay so just uh, category you will uh, select like this okay so uh, you can zoom it and uh, adjust like this okay from the mouse press button so from here you just need to take the uh, what what are the um, um, these are the things from our uh, river drawing okay so you need room means you just uh, need to uh, take the rooms from here okay for example uh, we'll have a rooms over here okay so just to give the rooms over first here then type uh, all elements category okay all elements so you can type like uh, all elements type or category whichever you do is all are will get it from here okay so i am choosing from here okay all category by elements okay then uh, can uh, select like this okay then what we need to do we need to connect this two okay so now it is um, you can pin it this one also okay so nothing is showing okay so you can um, pin it like this okay so it will come uh, all the details over here okay so just connected this two so you can see here uh, all the rooms na names and everything is come up over room room how many rooms we we have it will come up over here okay so the next one we need to um, we can give a watch also for this uh, uh, we can type watch okay so just give that one okay so just uh, uh, put it over here or here wherever you need so connect with this one to uh, this one so you can watch the things uh, what are the input is coming so you can watch it that one okay so all the rooms are come up over here then another one is like uh, uh, we need to give some code blocks over here okay code blocks uh, code blocks means having uh, like a, a unique feature in dynamo like uh, dynamically linked with uh, visual programs and the text based things you can uh, give the in the code block, uh, code block okay have access access to all the dynamic dynamo nodes and they can define and their graphics for one node okay so that will uh, define the text uh, text things and everything okay so easily you can uh, done the code blocks first over here so if you need to get a code block double click on here okay just double click uh, you, you will be get a code block, code block okay so just to code block you can place it over here and you need to type some code blocks over here okay so for example uh, we will just type it like uh, um, uh, like uh, like this okay then uh, select the uh, semicolon and uh, tag like this and just uh, put a uh, levels okay so just we will put uh, level okay uh, level and close that one okay uh, close it 
okay then uh, then enter it okay so that will create over here okay then what we need to do we just need to um, get a elements get elements parameter by value name okay so you can type like this otherwise you can go here in the elements portion okay elements elements portion and you will be get from here get, get by parameters okay um, in the category or you can go here elements uh, elements also here okay so get by uh, value <coughs> get the parameter value by name okay so you will be get that one so just select that one and connect uh, put it over here somewhere and just we need to connect the element to element okay one you need to connect to element element to element okay so another thing is like uh, uh, how it's work uh, i will show you and this one you can uh, connect to uh, we can copy this one also okay so this code block we need to connect over here okay so this parameter name you need to connect the code block okay and just copy these things okay it's simply you just control c and control v so that another another one code blocks and they get parameter value it will come up over here okay so here we need to give the uh, what we need to give give the second code block so you can give the number okay so just uh, just give the number of the uh, number over here okay then 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 i will I'll show you another one okay so we'll we'll give this one here number same process for the levels okay so you can uh, give type number over here okay just uh, double click on this one just edit this one just put a number okay cap log okay then number type that one okay so that that will uh, show up over here so you can uh, get the things from here okay what are the room num show, number showing in the rivet so it will be showing up over here okay so <clears throat> another thing is like you once you done this one so you just need to give a group of this one okay select the uh, like select like this and control G so you can uh, give the uh, edit name like the group uh, room names okay so just type uh, room names okay so we can <clears throat> identify the things easily okay room name okay just uh, type no room name and if you need to change the color you can change it from here so a lot of colors are available so you can uh, easily the one script you done means you can um, uh, use for all the uh, rivet projects okay so uh, like that we can arrange the room name categories like like this this one is the room name category i'm not at finished okay so uh, we will uh, we will go for another section like uh, we need to create another something for uh, another another uh, strings and everything okay so but before that you just need to uh, put a manual this one okay so manually we need to run that one and next is a string run uh, string length we need to add okay so we just type a string okay string length okay so we'll get a string and we'll get you can get it from here okay string length okay so we just put it over here string length and uh, what we need to do we need to connect this one to this this one to here okay so, uh, then one is connected and here also we need to give the code block okay double click on that one and we just type number one okay enter okay so then uh, that will come up over here and what we need to do we need to give and uh, we need to give uh, um, some stream remove and add uh, options okay so just type negative okay so you will be get uh, um, minus one of over here okay so uh, you can easily uh, easily connect it with this string length okay so just uh, do the like this okay and connect it to this uh, uh, x value okay and the code block y you need to connect over here okay so how it's work i will show you so just uh, connect it like this okay then what we need to do we need to um, uh, do some string remove also okay so just type a string okay and we need to uh, we need to uh, remove that things okay so we need to add that one also over here okay string remove and uh, what we need to do the from the value we need to connect to the string okay okay so you can just see here you can see all, all the things okay string remove and uh, and we need to add one more blocks over here code blocks over here you can just uh, type that one is a zero okay so that that we need to add over here okay then this this one do need to connect to the this node we need to connect to the uh, start index okay and uh, you can you can get the things from here okay what are the uh, what are the things is coming you will be get from here and what we need to do then the next one is we need to string remove and we need to connect this one to this count okay and this one also you can if you need if you need this one also you can make it as a group okay 
so these called as a level means uh, you can say click here or here you can say name okay or level name something like that level name okay level name i can call it as a level name and what in to do another step another step is like uh, we need to uh, create the uh, room level num level number and uh, means a room number and le level number okay so again we need to make one code block okay so just uh, give a like this okay and just uh, underscore and we just need to give another one like this semicolon uh, like like that you can give it okay code block and um, and then then we need to make a string contact okay so just you need to these all are in uh, like uh, um, um like the nodes okay so it, it will connect it to all the things okay so you need to add the string contact or oh, con uh, this this one over here and you just uh, um, add the things like one two one two okay then what do we need to do just just uh, this code block we need to connect over to this uh, uh, string one okay and what do we need to do another one this another one we need to uh, make, this all we need to combine okay so we just need to give a list combine okay so you will be get from here list just type e, uh, list so you will be get uh, combined one of the uh, uh, list okay so list combine uh, sorry you just need to come connect that one list combine uh, okay so combinations okay okay you will be get from here okay so easily you can type it you don't want to go go over here if you know, uh, know know the notes okay so just we need to connect this this two okay and what we need to do uh, next is like uh, we need to create a element parameter name okay so just uh, element uh, just type element okay element okay then uh, what we need to do this uh, by name okay by name we just need to give okay so this is a level, level name otherwise you can go here uh set parameter name you, you can select it from this one okay so just uh, selected that one and what we need to do we just need to give the combined one to this value okay so once you set that one we need to uh, run the program okay so what we need to do we need to connect this whole things to here okay so that will work over 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 here okay so uh, we can we can start first one uh, like uh, we need to the string already we need to connect with the, this string we need to connect with the here okay so the list to one list two already connected this one okay so so no sorry sorry this this, this string, removed one string removed one we need to connect to this list one okay and then what we need to connect okay so this one is uh, this one as we will put over here okay so next one is you can go here and we need to connect from the elements category first okay so element here is elements okay so we need to find the element category from here so from here you need to connect this one to the elements okay so once once you've done that one and what we need to do we need to connect um, uh, some other things from the from here to uh, this element get parameter value to our uh, string um, like uh, in the com uh, combine one list two okay so this one we need to connect it from here to this uh, um, list two this one okay and uh, another one parameter name also we need to connect so parameter name we need to connect it from um, from the number okay so from the number means here okay so from the number we need to connect that to parameter value okay so elements we connected and uh, parameter name also connected and here here you need to connect this uh, connect this one okay so how it's work i will show you uh, that one you need to connect it, uh, connected from uh, this number to here okay so this parameter value okay once you've done this one so you can see here the changes and everything so we'll just run this one okay uh, run completed if you look on the this one so you can see here all the room name is changed okay so one two three one and even you go to the level two so there also it will be changed like that okay so like that you can change the uh, easily you can change the uh, this uh, room numbers and everything using dynamo okay so you can change the 
dynamo as per this uh, as per this code and everything so if you like my video please subscribe my channel is totally related to autocad and rubate so uh, this this one you, you got it means uh, please subscribe it okay so this kind of things you can uh, do it in the uh, in rivet or large projects and everything so you, it will be easily changing the all the um, room names easily okay so before it was showing some other things okay so easily that will be changed okay so um, the name names and everything is changed it's zero one zero two zero five like that okay thanks for watching thank you